what was it about photography that grabbed you by the soul initially when you were how 17 when you first started picked up a camera um Even when before I, then when i when i first picked up a camera i was i believe i was seven years old because my dad got a digital point and shoot camera and he would photograph his antique restorations before and after with it and i would photograph my toys like my toy dinosaurs with that camera um so now i'm 33 years old so that was like a long time ago um what was the the fascination well i i definitely think that uh, photography is is an art but there's also a social aspect to it where um a lot of problem solving and going out into the environment and going out into the world is part of it like the best photographers are really good with people I, at least the best portrait photographers mm, a lot of photographers that i admire they're just um they're capable of becoming obsessed with something and becoming like going very very deep on a subject and you can see it especially in subject matters that are replicated I think photographers are just kind of um, curious people. So it's just a curiosity about the world. And most of the work that I admire, that I respect from other photographers kind of has, has that first. They're already that kind of person. Give me an example. Uh, Mary Ellen Mark's mm -hmm. uh, work, right? Like you could tell, like, even if she wasn't gifted technically, you know, she would be like a very curious person going around. And she's photographed some subjects that uh, many people have shot like to the not I don't want to say they're cliche because they're not, but they're just like known photogenic things. But it, it doesn't even matter. It's like the way like her humanity and the way that she's gone deep shows to me like a very cur curious and also an empathetic person. I like empathy too. Um, the kind of photography that I don't like is like looking down on people uh choosing a point of view that's like kind of normie if that makes sense um normie it, it, like just sort of like um a holier than thou kind of thoughtless approach of like spray and pray kind of journalism is a kind of photography that i don't like that i don't respond to what i do like is more colluding kind of people that are empathetic that are into it that doesn't matter who their subjects are they kind of like are weirdly connected with them and fascinated with them and um like this is going to get the journalism police called on me <laughs> but, but just like the the people who are really engaged in what they're doing or what they're empathetic for and find that in there those are people like if they had another job they would also act the same way you see what i'm saying they would be that style of person in another line of work as well it's a character trait the, that's the character trait that i think makes a great photographer yeah i mean there's 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 almost an emotional intelligence to those type of people right to yeah. be able to connect with with other people did you did you recognize that in yourself early on is that why you you went to kind of the, the human side of photography in terms of portraiture i i think you just you gravitate toward it yeah. And it's when you're young, you have a lot of bridges that could be burned behind you um, if you do what I did. Right. And like, don't don't like study anything or don't you just only follow what's working. Naturally, you're going to end up uh, where you should be going. Right. If you don't have a plan B or a plan C and you just kind of are uh, doing things by gravitational pull. Well, the only things that work are the things that you're good at anyway it's going to pull you in the right direction so i'm very lucky to do that because i'm from canada which is a country where you know if you mess up you can just move into your parents basement again and try again right so it's like it's a good fertile grounds for uh being a little bit self-destructive and uh experimenting and choosing a experimental path in life um but nowadays, a lot of people can do it as well, right? You don't need much to pursue that. So um, for me, that's the, that's the kind of path that I've always been down. And again, like when I'm at the stage where I'm at now, I've done this 
enough times to know that I just have to listen to myself and like something will guide me toward where I need to be going because I'll leave myself open for it, if that makes sense. 